Good morning, Mubuhai Squad. Another day, mm -hmm. another adventure. So, it's quite a big day today. Mm -hmm. I have my stud in, I got my chain, I got my sandal. So I'm gonna be spending a lot of time outside mm -hmm. because today is quite a big day because we are going to We're shooting another parody. Yes, it's been so long since we've done a parody. Maybe a couple months. Here's Ton, of course, who's gonna be shooting. There's Jane and Judith back there. Yep, helping out. There's RJ, planning. And Kuya, Ronnie, our driver for today. Yes. Now, in terms of the bird, she will be taken care of by Ate Elsie, my helper. I think it'll be great that the bird is also getting used to her face for a day. I mean, she sees her every single day and she has been feeding her. But uh, today she'll be spending a whole day with her. And I'll be seeing the bird tonight when I get back. Yes, what's up my boy squad? Okay, so here now in my favorite barangay, the barangay I actually moved to when I first moved to Philippines. I shoot a lot of my parodies here because it's just so Filipino and I love it. Lots of awesome tricycles around, always so busy. This is home. Oh, I miss living in this neighborhood. Now I am so used to crossing the street. It looks like a lot of chaos, but no, eventually you get used to it. So guys, if you're new to the Philippines, this here is a tricycle line. It's kind of like the lineup for a roller coaster <laughs> because the tricycle line is the roller coaster of the Philippines. Tricycles are like the common way of getting around Philippines very cheap it's kind of like a tuk-tuk in other Southeast Asian countries and it just parks and you get into the first one and then you tell them where you want to go it's basically this little buggy with like a bike attached to it a motorcycle here are some roosters but these roosters are for fighting am I correct are these for fighting yeah, yeah, they're yeah. for fighting, right? So it's really sad, sabong. but here in the Philippines, they call it sabong. It's cockfighting. They still do cockfighting here. It's part of the culture um, and people bet money, but some people just do it for fun. They don't even put blades on the legs and they the roosters fight. But this here, I think, is a breeding pair. Hey, guys, you guys are beautiful. I swear, birds are dinosaurs, guys. <laughs> And imagine if dinosaurs made that noise, seriously. Because you know I go to Palenque, Palenque, each morning. We have to shoot some Filipino fruits. All right. Santol. What is that? Santol. Santol. It's a sour fruit. Do you guys know that? Hi, Ate. We always buy fruits from her, yeah, right? Yeah, she's one of my suppliers for my apples. Oh, good. She supplies RJ's apples for his charity drive. Bananas, guys. All organic lahat. Yes. Rambutan. See? Well, here in this barangay, I can get all of these amazing fruits for cheap. Look at this. Mangosteen. Do you guys know mangosteen? This is so delicious. I think mangosteen is my favorite fruit. Got mangoes. Really delicious Filipino mangoes. Oranges. Apples, papaya, yes, lanzones, which mm, smells so good. Plantain down there, yes. But my favorite, oh, guys, you know this? Jackfruit. Like before moving to the Philippines, I had only had jackfruit in a can. It was like preserved with syrup, and I loved it. It was delicious. But have you guys had fresh jackfruit? <gasps> It is so good. It's like 10 times better. It's not crazy sweet. It's got this mild sweetness, but like sweet. I know that's a poor description, but that's really what it is. You got fresh coconut juice. Oh, the juice sprayed on me. It's okay. I don't mind that spray. Yes, Koya. <laughs> so he puts all the coconut juice in a bag and then he sells it. Fresh coconut juice. Mm. No need to buy it at the corner store. Oh, and the meat. Yum. Love fresh coconut water. Of course, Filipinos love rice. Got different kinds of rice. Organic ifugao rice. Wow. Tons to choose from. You weigh it and then you pay for it. All the fresh veggies you could want. Meat, fish, pork, chicken, all in there. Okay, guys, it's breakfast time. This place, it's called Inihao, which means barbecue in Philippines. 
I used to eat here breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Seriously, when I first moved to the Philippines here in Manila, I lived in this neighborhood and the food here was just so affordable. OMG, a bald Asian. This is actually one section, but that was the original section here. Let me take you over. They cook the meats right on the grill. Like it's fresh barbecue. Oh, mmm. Yum, yum, yum. You see, you can choose from several things here. There's hot dog on a stick, pork barbecue, pig ears, which is tenga, isao pork, which is like pork intestine, um, atay, which is liver, balunan, which is like gizzard of a chicken. Guys, look at how big that squid is. Huge squid. Wait, let's go inside. We got milkfish, tilapia, just awesome. And it's so delicious. Massive squid. Oh, so good. Look at that. And that smells just delicious. <gasps> mm. I think I want the empo. Ihawan ni kuya speed. This place is good. Yeah. It's been a long time since we It's been a while, yeah. yeah. I love eating here. Yeah, cheap, right? And back then there was a gym up there. I used to go to the gym and then eat here, all my protein. And there's an awesome fan up here. Now usually when I have friends or family visiting from Canada or wherever, and they want to eat somewhere authentic, I take them here. Where the locals eat and the food is it's clean, it's delicious. You can have as much as you want because it's affordable, it's cheap. Do you know what this is? No, it's not chocolate pudding. That's dinigoan. Yes, it's uh, made from blood. It's like a pig's blood stew with like pork parts in it. I know it sounds gross, but it's actually quite tasty. It's really good. Yes, a new parody. Mariti. Yes. And who's your son? She was explaining the son watches our videos. Faye, Jay, and Joseph. Faye, Che, and Joseph. Yes. Awesome. They are your fun. Thank you. Tell them I say thank you and tell them to watch this vlog. Hi, thank hello. you. Your mom's here. Yes. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Mabuhai squad. Check out this feast. Mmm. <gasps> Yum. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Delicious. It's served on a banana leaf. See that? They got work to do. Mmm. Like chicken. So yummy. Sweet marinade. Mmm. Crispy skin. A little bit. So Filipinos like to dip their stuff in like soy sauce, which is toyo, fish sauce, which is patis, and they squeeze calamansi, which is a citrus fruit, sour, into it. And it's kind of just like extra flavoring. And one of these chili peppers too, to make it spicy. Oh yes, the liempo's here. <gasps> Yum. That's pork belly, guys. So delicious. OMG. This pork belly looks delicious. Look at how juicy that pork belly is. Guys, have some liempo. Let's try it. Mm, 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 mm. So good. Pork fat and meat together. Mm. Oh yeah. It's basically roast pork, sweet marinade. So good. Wow. So good. All right, I'm gonna have my tea so I can stay awake. By the way, I love tea. If I need like a long day of energy blast for coffee, if I just need a blast of like energy, just short term, you know what I'm saying? This here is Earl Grey. Man, I miss this neighborhood so much. I love the Philippines. This is the Philippines. I remember when I first moved here, it was amazing. I loved the adventure. I loved the culture shock, the, how different it is out here than say Canada, which is all I knew before. Every day was an adventure. There's so much going on, right? Um, but another thing I noticed was I would be sick frequently. Um, and it made sense to me because growing up in Canada, I had gained an immunity to like the array of diseases, you know, microbes there. But here I am moving to a new country. Of course, I'm gonna have to also build my immunity to the microbes and diseases here. So I remember random infections, like I would get fevers, I drinking the water maybe, like in ice, I would have to go to, I would have diarrhea. 
I even at one point had pink eye, but not like North American pink eye. It was like the Asian pink eye. They call it sore eyes here. I had no idea what it was. I was doing my TV tapings like with like a, a red eye and people were like, what's wrong with your eyes? And I'm like, I don't know. And it got to the point where I couldn't see. It was bad. All of this random stuff, but it was such a great learning experience and I love it. Like, I'm not gonna say I worked my way up from the bottom because when I moved here, I already had an arrangement with one of the TV networks that I would sign with them. So I already knew I would have some kind of work, right? Even if it was entry level pay. But for those of you out there who are thinking of moving to the Philippines for the first time, if you were like me, you were born abroad and you wanna to come to the Philippines to start a life perhaps, and you've never been to the Philippines, you have to be prepared. <laughs> It's a different world out here. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm not saying that in like a, a good way. You have to be prepared to learn. I can't believe it's almost been eight years now that I've been here. And it was really a learning experience, especially the first three years. I'm in fact still learning, right? I'll say, I think it took me around 2015, 16 to feel like, okay, I don't have to worry anymore about like where my money's coming from. You know, if I will ever, like scrap my piggy bank or like mostly financial stuff my financial worries were kind of gone i was getting steady work this was 2015 i moved here the end of 2011 beginning of 2012 so that's three years it took me a good three or four years to really feel like ah i can stay you know what i mean for those of you who are planning to move to the philippines cold turkey like me from abroad for the first time i say give it a year i i find a lot of expats come here they move here they try it out they end up leaving usually around the one year mark the two year mark or the three year mark if you can make it in the philippines for three years i find you're good you can make it the long distance i've had to say bye to several friends who i've made here who've had to who've moved here and then they've moved back to their home country because for well for various reasons maybe they couldn't find work they couldn't keep up with the hustle of manila right and sometimes you do have to rough it a little bit like for example even just the food if you're gonna eat this kind of food and not in a restaurant every day uh which can get expensive if you want to like budget you eat at places like here inihao nikuya speed if you're picky about oh you know it's open it's open to the air maybe flies might land on it you can't be picky about that stuff <laughs> You have to really rough it. Um, and that's one of the things that living in the Philippines has taught me. We saw these kids playing basketball in the street. <laughs> and we told them we're gonna film them for YouTube. And they're totally happy. All right. Basketball is a very favorite sport for pretty much all young boys in the Philippines. It's like the most popular sport in the Philippines. In fact, my dad, his dream was to be a PBA star. <laughs> But then he moved to Canada with the rest of my family. Boy squad, we have friends from Davao. Yes, awesome. You're here to visit the Rizal Monument. Yeah. Awesome, isn't it beautiful? Okay, yeah. and because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So guys, this is the Rizal Monument. Jose Rizal National Monument. Oh, there's a Canadian flag here. Why? My boy squad, do you guys know why there's Canadian flags there? Let me know in the comments. Guys, gonna be riding this. It's called a Kalesa. Yes. What's your name, Kuya? My name is JM. JM. JM will be riding it. Here in the Philippines, we do still use Kalesa, um, especially out on the province, like my mom's province, the city of Togegirao, they ride Kalesa, horse and carriage, still. Thank you, we're here in Intramuros, as he said. Yep, it's like old Manila, very traditional, very Spanish-y. And we're shooting a scene. <laughs> oh, by the way, I love my barong. See this barong? It's been a while since I wear barong. Wear barong again. Okay, let's film. Oh wow, this horse knows how to reverse. Amazing. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye, horsey. Can I pet it? Oh, bye. Oh, his name's Rambo. Bye, Rambo. Bye. Oh, you're so sweet. They make you work so hard. I hope they help you rest as well. And how they keep the poo from falling in the street is the poo falls down into this bed and into that collection down there. Mmm, -hmm. mm, look at this guys, Carinderia. So like, outdoor eating. See? Mmm, look at all this delicious Filipino food. 
Adobong pusit, squid, hinataang manok, and stew. Mmm, hinakbet, vegetable stew. Mmm, guys, guyabano. You know this? It gets really big, but it's delicious. It's so sweet and tangy. <gasps> delicious, soft white fruit inside. Mmm, look at all of this, guys. Mmm, it smells so good. Lutong bahay, home Filipino cooking. And it's very affordable, very cheap. OMG, this smells so good. <gasps> Mmm, love this. Mmm. The food just never ends. Look at all that. Mmm, eggplant omelet. Longanisa. Yes. Longanisa. Shut up. Torta. Tortang talong. Yes. Hi, Kuya. These guys have agreed to be in the video. Wow, look at the tricycles. Oh, is this an e tricycle? That's an e tricycle. It runs completely on electric. <gasps> wow. Yes, just act normal. Don't be tense. Millions of people might see this. So radio is still very big here in the Philippines. This radio station is one I used to listen to when I first moved to the Philippines. It's all in Filipino, but there are English stations. But the audience that listen to the English station is very different from the audience that listens to the local station, the Filipino language stations. Turon, when I'm in Manila and I'm craving something tasty, I go and find Turon to buy. Look at how beautiful Intramuros Look at these buildings. Right? Right? The Spanish influence is very apparent in Intramuros. <laughs> Guys, we're filming them doing laundry. Mm -hmm. And them using the water pump. They get their water from a pump. See that? They manually pump it out. <laughs> Koya's brushing his teeth. All right. Clean mouth. <laughs> Hi. What's your name? <laughs> He's ignoring me. They're collecting garbage in this neighborhood. See that? So now we're shooting the end scene of this parody. The iconic part where Childish Gambino goes on top of the car and starts dancing. Well, the way I envisioned it, I'd be going on top of this jeepney and start dancing very famous Filipino dances. And then Ton will just back up into this awesome street here. See? But this garbage truck needs to uh, finish their work first. Salamat kuya! Thank you! Oh, they're gonna push- they're gonna push it? Oh, okay! <laughs> This jeepney apparently doesn't work, so they're just gonna push it into place. Corinne, I will help. Yes! Oh. Alright! Push, push, push! Dito, dito, up! Oh. There's even a kid sleeping back here! <laughs> oh, there are two kids sleeping here! So here's the plan. I'm gonna climb this. Ton is gonna be filming from this tricycle, and the tricycle is gonna drive away down that street when I'm at the top. Let's try this. Okay guys, we are here in Quiapo. Um, very popular market. Everything's cheap. And guys, something is breaking my heart right now. And it's this. 